This is News Nation Now. Good morning. Welcome to News Nation Now. I'm Alexandra Bush, and here's everything you need to know on this Saturday. We begin with some breaking news. Broadcasting legend Larry King has died. He was 87 years old. King's media company made the announcement this morning on his official Twitter account. No cause of death was given. Earlier this month, King was hospitalized after testing positive for COVID-19. King has conducted an estimated 50,000 on-air interviews with people including presidents and movie stars. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says Donald Trump's impeachment trial will start the week of February 8th. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is scheduled to deliver the article of impeachment to the Senate on Monday. Earlier this month, the House voted 232 to 197 to impeach then-President Trump on a charge of incitement of an insurrection. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell has pushed to postpone the trial in an effort to give the president's legal team more time to prepare. President Biden took executive action yesterday to speed up financial relief to millions of Americans affected by the coronavirus pandemic. He signed two executive orders, one to increase food aid for struggling families and the other the first step in raising the minimum wage to $15 an hour for federal workers and contractors. The president using the actions as a bridge to the nearly $2 trillion rescue package he wants Congress to approve. A federal government official says more than 150 National Guard members in the nation's capital to provide security for the inauguration have tested positive for COVID-19. That official believes that number could rise, but remains a fraction of the more than 25,000 troops sent to Washington, D.C. after the Capitol riot at the U.S. Capitol that you're looking at right there. And did you have trouble logging into Facebook this morning? Some Facebook users began reporting issues with the social media platform's mobile app, forcing them to log out and then log back in again. Just before 9 p.m. last night, many users got the message session expired. In a statement to News Nation late Friday, a Facebook spokesperson said, quote, we're aware that some people are currently having trouble accessing Facebook. We're working to get things back to normal as quickly as possible. And trending this morning, a person in Michigan waking up a billionaire this morning. One winning Mega Millions jackpot ticket was sold in the state. The billion dollar prize is the third largest jackpot in U.S. lottery history. The winner could take the lump sum cash option. That would be almost $740 million before taxes, of course. Not going to lie, I'm pretty jealous. For now, I'm Alexandra Bush. Thank you so much for watching News Nation. Now stay with us throughout the day for breaking news coverage here on our app and website. Plus, be sure to tune in tonight's News Nation broadcast at 8, 7 central on WGN America. Start your morning with News Nation. Top headlines and trending stories delivered straight to your inbox for free. Go to newsnationnow.com newsletter to sign up.